All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Kawadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. They were well. And the salute and the shalom to all the Akim that are out there laboring and pushing this truth in all sincerity and in truth. Um, yeah, uh, this quick lesson is going to be about the hour of temptation. All right. Uh, I went into the, etym the etymology of the word temptation. And it's here it is. This is from the et, from the etymology uh the dictionary app that I got. It says uh, yeah, uh kind of temptation, it's a noun in uh during the twelve hundreds. An act so like it says act of enticing someone to sin. Also, an experience or state of being tempted, right? From the old French, um, temptation, modern French, temptation. From Latin, uh, temptationum, um, nominative, um, temptatio. Noun of action from past. Um, let's see. Uh, Temptare. To feel, try out. Right? It says, well, see, tempt. Meaning that which tempts a person to sin. Right? Here it is. Tempt. Right? From the 1200s. Um, of the devil, flesh, etc. To draw or entice to evil or sin, lure someone from God's law by alluring or seductive. Okay? To feel, try out. Right? So temptation right so being tempted right you are being uh, seduced to do what to go against the laws statutes and commandments of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua right let's get this uh Revelation, I think it's 2 and 10. Should be 2 and 10. Uh, I was, okay, I'll start here. This is uh, Revelation 2 and 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison that, that ye may be tried. And, and ye shall have tribulation 10 days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Right? So, so when, so when the, the uh, 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 hold on, it's not like it. All right, man, so when, so when this devil comes, comes down on us, right? And he, uh, and he locks us up for a, certain period of time for a certain length for a certain length of time we're supposed to be what man faithful unto death right so even if they say well if you don't don't well if you don't take this chip then we're going to kill you you have to say well you're going to have to kill me then right now of course of course right uh, um it's easier said than done right Here it is. It say, this is Revelation 3 and 10. Fear, so it's, like, it's like it says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience. 
I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Right? Because thou hast because thou hast kept the word of my, of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world, to try them that dwell upon the earth. Right. Now the word of 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 Yahweh shot comes like so. The word of of the patience of Yahweh of of Yahweh Bashamel Shah is this gospel, man. Is this truth? Right, so we have to do what, man? We have to, uh, we we have to keep the word, man. All right, we, we we have to endure in this truth, man. Okay. Here it is. This is uh, Ephesians six and thirteen. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of Yahweh, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. Right, the evil day is what Jacob's trouble. Right. In the hour of temptation and having done all to stand right so put on the whole armor of yahweh of yahweh bahashem yahweh shah man all right man and have your loins go about with truth man have on the breastplate of righteousness man right believe have faith man okay second peter two and nine God says, The Lord Yahweh Shah knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust, God, and to reserve the unjust until the day of judgment to punish, God, or to be punished. Right? So, it say what? Because thou hast kept the word, word of my patience, right? I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, right? That means what? That Yahweh Bashem El Shah will 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 give you the the uh, the uh, strength, right, and the Rechak Kodesh to do what? To endure the temptations, man. To to stand strong, to stand firm, man. So you won't what? So you won't give in, man. Right? You will be delivered. From those temptations, man. Okay? Okay, this is uh first Peter four and twelve. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened to you, right? Kind of happened unto you, right? So, so what we are going through now and are about to go through, it's not a strange thing, thing, man. It's supposed to happen. It's not strange, man. It's not strange. It's supposed to happen, right, man? It's already been written in the book. So guess what, man? We get, we got to go through it, man. We got to endure. We got to go through it. Okay. That's why it's very, very, very important to know what you are involved in. It's very important to understand that, man, and to know what, what you're involved in, man. This is a matter of life and death. Okay? This is a matter of life and death, man. Right? Now... We are dead, dead to the, it's like, hold on. now we are dead to this world, man, right? So, all right, so we are dead to this world, but, but we are alive in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, right? We are dead to this world, but we are alive in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, right? Now, some of us will become, so like, so like it now, some of us will be martyrs, right?
But we will be raised up again, though, to everlasting life. See? All right, man, because... Uh, all right, man, because wanting to rule this earth in righteousness and being perfect and having the law, statutes, and commandments written in our hearts, meaning our minds, and being perfect. All right, man, and and um, and wanting your children and your future children to be able to to be able to play in the streets of Jerusalem but to be uh, to uh, uh, to be f uh, to be free from sin uh, to be f uh, to be uh, uh, delivered from slavery All right, man, and to and to receive a crown on your head from your Hawashah Mashiach. That's those those important things are. Hey, Amen. That's worth dying for, man. That is worth dying for. That is worth dying for, man. Because there's nothing in this world to live for, man. There's nothing in this world to live for. Because there's nothing in this world but wickedness. All right, man? So, so, wanting to see your son or your daughter and the rest of your future children in the kingdom, all right, to want to, and to see them play in the streets of Jerusalem and be happy and be at peace. Right? And wanting your entire nation to be at peace and to be free from sin and to be and to be freed from slavery. And wanting to receive a crown on your head. From Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Those things are worth dying for, man. That's worth dying for. Okay? Let's get uh Isaiah 33. This is Isaiah 33 and 6. It say, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh is his treasure. Right? So the wisdom and so the wisdom and knowledge that we have of these scriptures, of this gospel, that's going to do what? That's going to keep us safe. It's like not safe, but that's going to keep us um uh, Stable, they keep us strong and firm, right? But who's going to? But who's going to keep us safe? But who's going to keep us safe, though, man? Yep, yep, man. Yeah, how about your mouth? Shots going to keep us safe, right? Here, here it is. Uh, Romans fifteen and four. For so ever things were written aforetime time were written for our learning. That we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. Right? So in these scriptures is what? Hope. Right? So what's in the these so what's in these scriptures, man? Patience, comfort, and hope. These other people don't have that, man. We have the patience and the comfort and the hope. We have faith in Yahweh Basham Yahusha. What more do we possibly need, man? All right? Now, let's get one more script. Let's go to 
Let's get one more script. It's in, I believe it's 2nd Maccabees 7. I believe it is. It should be 2nd Maccabees 7. Let's see. Okay. Now, th now their mother said, all right, the seven Maccabean brothers, right, their mother said this to them, right? Let's hold on real quick. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, she said to die manfully. Let's see real quick. Hold on real quick. Uh, Hold on real quick. I know what's in here. Okay. All right. This is uh second Maccabees seven and five. All right. This is what their mother said. This is what his mother said to him. Right. It says now when he was thus maimed, in all his members, he commanded him being yet alive, to be brought to the fire and to be fried in the pan. And as the vapor of the, uh, of the pan was for a good space dispersed, they exhorted one another with the mother to die manfully, saying thus, Yahweh power looketh upon us, and in truth hath comfort in us, as Moses in his song, which witnessed to their faces, declared, saying, And he shall be comforted in his servants. Wow. Right? Verse 7. So when the first was dead after this number, they brought the second to make him a mocking stock. When they had pulled off the skin of his head with the hair, they asked him, Will thou eat before thou be punished throughout every member of thy body? This is what he said in his own language in the Lashawan Kodash. says this, But he answered in his own language and said, La'ah, right? La'ah means no, right? Wherefore, he also received the next torment in order as the former did. Right? Let's say this. Verse 9, and when he was at the last gasp, he said, Thou, like a fury, taken us out of this present life. But the king of the world shall raise us up, who have died for his laws unto everlasting life.
right? Now, these seven Maccabean brothers, they are back here today, right? Now, if I'm not mistaken, I believe this was uh, Antiochus that did this, right? So he has to pay for this shit, man. Antiochus has to pay for this. Right? So, Aki, man. Take into consideration what the seven Mac what the seven Maccabean brothers went through, man. Right? They died manfully, man. They did not give in, man, to some pork. They did not give in to some pork, man. Right? They did not give in to no swine, man. They didn't do it, man. They, man, they basically cursed them out, man. They basically cursed out King Antiochus, man. They said, no, no, man. I'm not, I'm not doing that. Listen, man, I'm not doing that shit, man. You gonna have to kill me, man. You gonna have to kill me then, man. I'm not eating no, I'm not eating no swine, man. I'm not doing it. Right? We have to be in the spirit of of the seven Maccabean brothers, man. We have to be in the same spirit as the seven Maccabean Akia, man. Right? So, hey, Akia, man. Uh, when you all get time, time, man. Read Second Maccabees 7, man. Read that, man. Read it. And think about it, man. Right? Because we're because we are coming into some very difficult times, man. We are coming into some very difficult times, man. Right? All right, man, listen, man. I don't know no mothers that's like, man, man, I don't know no women that's like the mother of the seven Maccabean brothers. It says this, verse 20. But the mother was marvelous above all and worthy of, of honorable memory. For when she saw her seven sons slain, Within the space of one day, she buried with a good courage because of the hope that she had in the Lord Yahweh. Yea, she exhorted every one of them in her own language, filled with courage, so I give, filled with courageous spirits, and stirring up her womanish thoughts. With a manly stomach, she said unto them, I cannot tell how ye came into my womb, for neither I gave you breath nor life. Neither was it I that formed the members of your... Uh, uh, neither was it I that formed the members of every one of you. But doubtless, the creator of the the socket. But doubtless, the creator socket. But doubt socket. Hold on. But doubtless, the creator of the world, who formed the generation of man, and found out the beginning of all things, will also, of his own mercy, give you breath and life again. As ye now regard not your own selves, for his law's sake. So the seven Maccabean brothers are back here today, man. They are back here today. Yes, the seven, yes, the seven Maccabean brothers are back here today, man. They are back here today. Right? 
So with that, I say Shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Bahashem, Rekha Kadash, that were honest to the apostles and the elders, the great millstone, the Ruel, and with that, I say Shalom.